In this series of Getting Started videos, we'll show you how you can use Power BI to connect to data, uncover insights, and then keep up to date with the critical information you need to make business decisions. We'll start with the Power BI Designer, and when you first launch it, you'll see this Getting Started screen. And to get started, just hit Get Data. This gives you a dialogue where you can choose from any of the different data types that you can connect to. I'm going to use the SQL Server database, and just hit Connect. Type in the name of the server that you need, and hit Return or click OK. In this navigator dialog, you'll see the server that you're connected to and all the databases that you can find there. You can use that then to navigate to the table that you're interested in. You'll see a preview of the data from that table, and then you can either load it directly or click Edit Query to go and make changes. Things like adding and removing columns, grouping your data in different ways, changing the data types, or changing the name of the query. In this case, my data is actually in pretty good shape, so I don't need to do any of that. So in the bottom left, you can just swap straight over to the report view. At this point, your data will start getting loaded. And now, over on the right-hand side, you'll see all of the columns that came in from that table. And if you want to start creating charts, all you need to do is grab the field you're interested in, let's take product, and drag it over onto the canvas. For categorical fields like product, we'll automatically choose a numeric field to go with it, in this case, units sold, and plot a chart for you. So you get really quick insights. If I was to choose a field like country, something geographic, you get a map by default. So here's a really quick report. I'm happy with this now, so I'm just going to save this locally. Give it a name. And now I can go and upload it to the Power BI service. And in the preview.powerbi.com site, I can choose to get data from here. This gives me a list of all of the different data sources I could choose from. And the one that I'm interested in is the Power BI designer file. Hit connect and then browse to the file that I just saved on the uh, desktop. The file will get uploaded into Power BI and it will get split into the data set, the report, and a dashboard will get created for me to start monitoring that data. If I choose to click the report, and you can see the report that I saved. And from these reports, I can select the visuals and choose to pin them back to my dashboard. When I go back to the main site, I'll see those visuals here on the dashboard as well. I can carry on moving them or resizing them, and these will get updated over time. So I always get to stay up to date with my latest data. So in this short video, we've shown you how you can use the Power BI Designer to connect to data and build some reports, and then publish it up to the Power BI service to create dashboards that allow you to monitor your data over time. Thanks very much.